Kia, welcome to Cherokee Now. Today we have Donna Taylor joining the show. Donna is the Education Coordinator with the Cherokee Tribal EMS. Donna, welcome to the show. Tell us about your role as a training facilitator and the exciting news for folks who may be interested in what the Tribal EMS is doing. Thank you, Chris, for having me here today. Uh, My job as Education Coordinator at Tribal EMS is really partially to maintain all the certifications of our paramedics at Tribal EMS and our emergency medical technicians at Tribal Fire Department. Part of being in the medical field requires continuing education every year, a minimum of 20 hours. So what I work to do is to provide the education for each person that's certified medically in the fire department and EMS. Um, But our hopes now is to start extending our education to the public for people who would like to get into the fire service or emergency medical services. Excellent. And so you've got an exciting program that you've started on last year and that you're going to continue with in the upcoming year called the uh, EMT Basic Course. Is that a training course? EMT Basic Course is a training course, and it's the initial training course to get into emergency medical services. So it offers you start at the EMT Basic level, and then there's actually three levels to get all the way to paramedic level. EMT Basic the first, Advanced EMT is the second level, and paramedic is the third. We started in the last year offering all of those sections at Tribal EMS and really? um, we're starting the next new section of them and would really like to get the people involved in Okay, this. now tell me tell me about the training, Who the basic course training. Who's allowed to come to that? Anybody's allowed to come to that. The requirements for the basic course is that you have to, by the end of the course, have your high school diploma or a GED okay. and you will have to be 18 to sit for the state test so you have to be 18 within 90 days of the finish of the course okay so this is anybody with that's got a a GED or a diploma from high school graduate from high school can come to this course and begin getting their working their way up to EMT paramedic now paramedic on the tribal side that's that's the highest level and that's the only one that the tribe hires but the state and the governments uh, local county governments they they accept folks with just the basic EMT Um, certificate is that correct they do accept folks with a basic EMT certificate our fire department all of the fire personnel are basic EMTs and that's part of the steps you have to have to work there we do only use paramedics at this time at Cherokee Tribal EMS but the local counties around us do hire EMT basics but this is the first step to getting to that level and working with you guys first step yes is there a cost associated with the the EMT basic course we do try to keep there is a minimal cost to it we do try to keep it as low as we can to keep people interested there are the book cost and they roughly run about two hundred dollars um, cost a few nominal cost for having malpractice insurance to work and a uniform purchase cost but okay generally the whole course is less than five hundred dollars okay for, what a, if you take the course, what can as as a participant in the course, what could you expect to experience during this course? How 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 does it roll out? It is a kind of a dual fold course. There is a lot of classroom stuff where you are actually learning book work and the things, how the human body works and the ways you take care of it. But there's a lot of hands-on work. You actually learn how to do CPR. You actually learn how to manage folks that are bleeding and how to get people out of cars who've had okay. car accidents. So wow. it's kind of a combination of both. <laughs> okay. How, how long does the course last? The course last, we do what they call a continuing education course. It's a nighttime and a Saturday course for folks who work full-time jobs that have this interest in it. Um, We do two nights a week and one Saturday about a month every six weeks. And we run the course from January to May. So this will be, you have to sit there from January till May. You have to put that time aside. But at the end, in May, you will graduate and you will have your basic EMT You'll certificate. be able to sit for the state test for the absolutely. Basic EMT, so. What um, what do you expect out of people that are interested? In this? What kind of people are you looking for? We're looking for people who are really interested in helping other people, and that's the goal yeah. here. And you have to be willing when you're in this profession to know you have to work holidays and weekends and nights, right. um, and you have to really be outgoing and able to talk to people and relate to people, okay. and handle some high stress. It is a high stress <laughs> job. So. Absolutely. Um, 
are there tests associated with the basic course throughout the process? There are tests associated with the basic course. There are actually written tests and practical tests. You okay. have to show the ability to do the hands-on skills. And then at the end of the basic course, there is a state test where the state actually gives you a certification. With that certification, you can work anywhere in the state of okay. North Carolina. But you give so. them all the tools during this process to make sure that they're not going to fail this test. All the tools during the process. Absolutely. Yes. So where do you host this uh, basic course at? Where would folks sign up? At, the, where will it actually take place? The EMT basic course will take place at the Cherokee Tribal EMS base on Aquani Road okay. in the classroom um, there. And to sign up, they can contact me. Uh, I have two different contacts, okay. telephone and email, so we can give you the numbers for that. Absolutely. Um, yeah. The, uh, you can go ahead and say it on the air, and then we'll have it covered. Yeah. Our office number is 359 uh, Six four five four. Okay. And you can get me on email, the tribal email, but it's d o n n t a y l at nc cherokee dot com. Okay. And when do you expect the next basic course to begin? It will begin January seventeenth okay. at five in the evening. They will run from five in the evening till nine in the evening. Okay. And Mondays and Wednesday nights. So two uh, nights a week. You said some Saturdays, but some Saturdays we have from it's January seventeenth into the second week of May, and there's only three Saturdays built into okay. that whole time so. well, great so folks out there are looking for something to do um any, any in a field that's exciting high-paced uh involves a lot of dedication and and, and sacrifice um j- sign up with donna here with the emt basic course you guys are always looking for help i uh, know the counties are always looking for help so there's there's plenty of work opportunities in this and it's something fulfilling plus the fire department requires this so there's a, a lot of basic needs here tell me about another event that you guys are currently working on with the community cpr and first aid classes We offer community CPR and first aid classes, and we've been doing this for about two years with good response, but we really want to put that out. Um, American Heart Association is our primary provider for what works to save lives for people who are having heart attacks. And their big focus now is community CPR. And we've seen a lot on television. If you've seen shows, they have modified it a little bit to where you can do hands-only CPR um, without breathing and without risk of um, exposing yourself to anything. But it still shows that it saves lives. So we would really like to push our uh, community CPR classes out to everyone everyone to know that they're welcome to come learn CPR and first aid and okay. um, give you just some of the basic skills that you may need if you come across something in the public. Okay, great. And when do you, when are you hosting these? We have regular classes scheduled the first Wednesday of every month at 9 in the morning. And these classes are held here at the EOC training okay. uh, room. And then we have a regular class the second Tuesday night of every month at 6 p.m. again here at the EOC. We like to have... So you have a morning and an evening session, so everybody... It gives a every chance for everybody life, yeah, can, can to, to come to it. So, what? Uh, how long does it last? Those classes run two and a half to three hours, okay. depending on how many people we have come into the class. Okay. So. And what is the cost associated with it? The cost associated with it is $40. Okay. That does include uh, your CPR certification and first aid certification card and the materials that you have access to for the next two years Excellent. during that certification. And, and what could we expect if you sign up for this, spend your $40, I want to get CPR are trained what can I expect the day of the class when you come into class there is a little bit of video watching a little bit of talking or lecturing kind of and a lot of hands-on we like for people to experience and actually do CPR on the here, mannequins right? yes <laughs> um, and feel comfortable with it all right so um, you they get a lot of hands-on skills, okay. but it is in a more laid-back environment. Okay. Um, the testing for this is not as formal. We do it just in a sit around, talk, okay. and make sure you're comfortable with the skills. And the there's skills no and the processes of basic CPR and life so. safety, first aid. Great. Um, Okay, and then uh, when, go ahead and mention again where that would be at and when that will be again for these classes. It's the first Monday or first Wednesday of every month at 9 a.m. Um, and then second Tuesday night of every month at 6 p.m. And those courses are offered here at the Sean Blanton Emergency Operations Center. And that's open to anyone, correct? Open to anyone. Anybody out in the community that wants to come and sign up for that, as long as they got the $40 for their materials and their certification. That's it. Great. Well, thanks for joining us today, Donna. I really appreciate this. I think this is something big for the community and, and a lot of 
folks hopefully will turn out for this and and sign up and, and actively participate in, in some of this first aid and life-saving skills uh, courses that you guys offer and it's a great chance for people to give back to the community absolutely too, so. good let's keep everybody safe out there um, that'll be it for today if you're listening at home and would like to comment on the show or ask any questions regarding what we've discussed today please comment on our ebci cherokee now facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cherokee now we'll put donna's information on there as well so that you can see um, who you need to contact for this stuff and uh, and get signed up immediately we'll see you again very soon data dog you.